Stardew Valley is already a massive game with tons of things to do. But Stardew Valley also has one of the biggest and most dedicated modding communities. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to add mods to your game on both PC and on mobile. Alrighty, let's get started with setting up mods on PC. Luckily for us, it is actually pretty easy. First, head over to the Nexus Mods website and create an account. To actually download mods, you will need an account. Then download the Smappy modding API. Just click on the link in the description below and then click on this manual button here. After the page loads, click on the slow download. Once your download is complete, unzip the folder. You can either use the Windows default unzipping or you can use WinRAR like I am. After the contents of the folder has been extracted, double click on the .bat file. This will install Smappy on your PC and this will create the mods folder that we will use soon. When using mods, it is important to launch Stardew Valley using the Smappy launcher. To find this executable, go to the program files, then go to Steam, then Steam apps, then common and you will find it inside of the Stardew Valley folder. It is called Stardew Modding API. Alrighty, now that we have that, we can actually download a mod. Let's download the Stardew Valley expanded mod for this demonstration. First click on the link in the description below, then click on the manual button again, then scroll down and click on the manual download button on the main Stardew Valley expanded file. A pop-up will then appear. This pop-up contains all of the dependencies that are required for this mod to work. These mods basically support mods that allow the developers to build their own mods easier. Now what I like to do is to use Use my middle click button on each and every dependency. This will open that mod in a new tab. Then start from the rightmost tab and click the manual button and then click on the slow download. To make sure I don't miss anything, I usually wait and confirm that the download has started before moving on to the next dependency. Do this for every dependency except for the Smappy mod because we already have that one. Once you have all of the dependencies downloaded, you can download the actual Stardew Valley expanded mod by going back to the Stardew Valley tab and clicking download on the pop-up and then clicking the slow download. Once you have everything you need, we will then need to copy the mod files into the mod folder in Stardew Valley. So start by the first mod from the bottom. After that specific mod has been extracted, copy its contents into the mod folder within the Stardew Stardew Valley folder. I like to do these one at a time and from the bottom up just in case I miss one. This is a lengthy process for a big mod like Stardew Valley Expanded, but it is definitely worth it. After copying all of the extracted mod files into the mod folder in Stardew Valley, you are now ready to give it a test. Simply launch the Stardew Valley modding API executable and if all of the dependencies are included, it should work with no problem. If you did miss something, you should get an error like this. The error will tell you which mod failed to be installed and the reason. Most of the time it is because you have missed a dependency. Luckily for us, the missed dependency is told to us which is pretty nice and that is all there is to adding mods on PC it's really easy nice now you know how to add mods to Stardew Valley on PC. But I have two very important things to tell you before you do. There are a few mods that do not use the Smappy dependency and the Content Patcher dependency. These mods work by directly copying new files into your Stardew Valley content file. These mods will directly change Stardew Valley. And the only way to remove them is by restoring the contents folder. I usually avoid using these types of mods, but if you do want to use them, make sure to make a copy of your contents folder in case you want to restore your game back to its default. Next, if you're going to be playing around with mods, you need to make a backup of your existing save files. You can find them by typing run in your Windows search bar and hitting enter. Then type percentage app data percentage and hit enter. This will open the roaming folder. And in the Stardew Valley folder, you will find all of your save files under the saves folder. Make a copy of that folder. Some mods can break save files, so it's good to be prepared. 
all right now let's get mods to work on mobile this is a little bit trickier especially since mobile players don't have the 1.5 update yet but it's not that bad i promise first Use the link in the description below. This will take you to the Smappy Android GitHub page. Then click on the Smap Launcher APK to download it. You can do this on your PC and then copy it to your phone. Or you can download it straight on your phone. Once it is complete and once you have it on your phone, simply find the file and click on it to install the Smappy installer. Then the Smappy installer application will launch on your phone. Then click on the install button button. This will take a very long time, so grab a coffee while you wait. Once it has completed, you will now be able to find the Stardew Valley folder on your phone. I like to do this on my PC, but you can do all of this directly on your phone. Inside of that folder, you will find the mods folder. Now all we need to do is download a mod from the Nexus website and copy it into that folder. But that is where this gets a little bit trickier. You can try downloading the latest update of a mod and see if it works. But if it doesn't, you will have to look for old versions of the mod. Since the mobile version of the game is not on the latest update, you will have to find and download older versions of the mods. For this demonstration, I will be using Ellie's Seasonal Buildings mod. You can find it in the description below. To get old mod files, click on the Files tab on the Nexus website. Then scroll down until you find the old files. Now you should be looking for mods that were made for the 1.4 update. Some mods will specifically have a mobile version, but most of them won't. An easy way to find old files is to just download the files that were released before the 21st of November. You are going to have to do this for the actual mod you want and for all of the dependencies. This whole process will be much easier once the mobile version of the game gets the latest update. I'm I'm crossing my fingers for you guys. After downloading all of the mods and dependencies that you need, extract them and then copy them into the mods folder in the Stardew Valley folder. And then launch Stardew Valley on your phone using the Smappy launcher. At the top left, you will see a keyboard icon. Double tap that icon and then click on console. This is where you can confirm if the mods have loaded correctly or if something went wrong. If everything went well, the mods will now be active on your phone very nice if any of you guys already use mods on mobile please share the links in the comments below so other players know which mods will work and that's how you add mods to both pc and mobile if you have any difficulties please let me know in the comments below i will try my best to help you guys get those mods working but for now i will see you in the next video